Hey everybody, how's it going? I wanted to post an update video on what's going on with my job and my flying because I know I haven't posted my usual ride-along videos. I know I've posted the Cirrus Life videos recently, uh, but those have been done for a while and I just kind of released them as I was able to edit them because I'm pretty busy uh, with the new job. Um, if you recall a little while ago, I flew the green Cirrus out of Aspen. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, but I also talked about my new job uh, at the time with uh, Sky West. I was supposed to go to Sky West. Uh, since then, I have not gone to Sky West. I'm actually flying for Jetlinks. Um, if you don't know who they are, go ahead and look them up. Uh, it's a private, uh, or it's a 135 management company, um, and we have 18 bases across the country. Um, so what happened there was about two weeks before I was supposed to go to Salt Lake City for Sky West for, uh, for school, I got a call from Jetlinks um, from a guy I had lunch with last year, um, just kind of exploring the company and see if he would be a good fit for me down the road. At the time, I didn't have the hours um, to be qualified to fly for Jetlinks. Uh, but two weeks before I was supposed to go to Salt Lake City, I got a call from Jetlinks saying, hey, there's this job available and uh, are you interested? And I was very interested. Uh, so I interviewed and I got the job and I went through training, let's say beginning of February or so, and I just got out in March, middle of March. Uh, so I've been flying the line for about three months or so. I'm flying the CJ2 Plus Citation. Uh, it's been a great, great plane to fly, um, lots of power. I've got the Proline uh, 21 avionics in here, so it's a very easy jump from the Cirrus with the glass panel and you know, FADEC engines, very, very nice and easy to manage. Another reason I wanted to make this video is to let you all know that uh, I did get approval to film in the, the Citation here, uh, which I'm sitting in right now, if you couldn't tell by now. Um, the owner has let me uh, film on the empty legs, the Part 91 legs between um, wherever we are, if there's empty legs. Most of the time right now, it's between Denver and Colorado Springs. Um, so I won't post a whole lot of those because it's kind of a short flight and it gets boring after a while. Um, but I do have to maintain certain uh, parts of privacy for the owner. Um, he would re request that. So if any of you have any questions about certain specifics about the aircraft, the owner, and all that kind of stuff, if you leave them in the comments, I will delete them. Just telling you right now. Um, so please be respectful of the owner um, for these trips. That's his request. So right now I'm sitting in the hangar at Centennial. I am based at Centennial, which is great because I live really close to the airport. Uh, the, the quality of life of being able to live really close to your airplane, um, is, it's a huge, huge benefit and huge advantage. Um, so right now I'm getting ready for a trip. I have a five day trip starting tomorrow. Uh, we are going, um, all over the place. We're going to several cities. Um, I can't disclose them. <laughs> As a title for the company, I am second in command. I sit in the right seat, um, but I am fully typewriter in the aircraft. So it's purely a title sake. So when I hit a hundred hours of turbine time, uh, flying jets pretty much is all I have uh, time in for turbine, I'll be able to switch left and right in the seat. So I'll be able to sit left seat um, here in about 20 hours or so um, at the time this video uh, is being filmed. So right now I'm just getting ready for the trip. Um, I already stocked up the snacks because uh, we're taking the entire family tomorrow, all five of them um, down for uh, a little bit of a long flight over to um, the east part of the eastern part of the country there for um, for some mostly some vacation time kids are off from from school and they're home uh, so i'm just going to show you a little bit about what i do to prep the airplane and also show you the airplane introduce you to uh my airplane the cj2 plus here in the front seat just connected the battery uh, i'm just trying to see how much fuel we have on board so i can uh, put our fuel order in with signature uh, before our departure tomorrow so before i turn the battery on to make sure throttles are below the gate they're off landing gears confirmed down Come over here and turn the battery on it's gonna make a lot of noise all the screens are gonna come on FMS is starting to come on a little bit. Also, I'll bring uh, avionics on, which they already are, so you can see it all working. 
So I can see right here, I've got uh, 540 pounds, 550 pounds aside pretty much. Um, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of gas so we can get down to Colorado Springs. Pretty short flight, it's about 15 minutes down there. So yeah, so this is the uh, the ProLine 21. You got your PFD over here. Get rid of that guy. Uh, you got an autopilot panel here. Over here we have our MFD, we have our N1 percentages, we have our ITTs. Um, we got your N2 and your oil pressures, all the engine instruments uh, going on here. And then you got a configurable map here, which we can do different stuff here. If I come down here and press this button, we can look at weather and such. Can't get inside because we're inside the hangar. Up here we have uh, dual RTUs or radio tuning units. Uh, we don't use those a whole lot because we can do it all down here on the Collins uh, 3000 FMS. Here we got our uh, backup GPS 500. Um, this is FMS2 if we were to lose this box here, so it would revert to here. So we always keep this flight plan um, congruent with what we have in the box so that uh, we avoid any sudden turns if we were to lose FMS1. Here we have our environmental condition control here. We have our pressurization indicator. We set the destination altitude of where we're going and then it figures out the rest for us. We just have to monitor the differential uh, for the cabin pressure and the cabin altitude right here. Um, the rest is all pretty much air conditioning and defog fans and such. So I'm going to shut her down, turn the avionics off, and battery back to the middle. And I'll show you the rest of the cabin. So here we got the main cabin here. Uh, we got six seats. We actually have one seat all the way back there on the right. That's the lav seat, but most people don't sit there because it's, it's just an uncomfortable seat uh, to sit in. But we do have a, a small little bathroom back there, actually, um, if we need it. Uh, but we try not to use it. It's more for emergency purposes. Uh, but yeah, it's a nice cabin. It's great condition. This plane's at 2012. Uh, it's only got about 600 hours on it, so it still has the new plane smell. Um, but it even has all the fun fold-out tables on each side. Nice leather top there. Cool little window shades just slided across. Uh, but yeah, it's a nice roomy cabin. Gets the job done. These seats come out towards the center a little bit and they push forward and back. So for, for taller passengers, it's a little more comfortable for them. Well, thanks for stopping by and watching the video. I hope you enjoyed that quick tour of my new airplane. And I will see you in the next video tomorrow morning going down to Colorado Springs from Centennial. Take care.